Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Big Sister Challenge. episode three now and I am so glad you guys are enjoying the series because I am having so much fun with it. I have added a few more sims into the world. I didn't have time to do a lot but after this video is filmed I will definitely be adding more. Uh, the goal is like I said to delete all the other townies and just have your guys' sims in here. I'm just gonna cancel Haley from picking up food from the fridge because we have Lola here making breakfast for us. Maybe she can just sit here and just talk to Lola a little bit, maybe talk about school since it was her first day yesterday. She is definitely grounded. Like Lola has grounded Haley. She's gonna keep, oh my God, I almost thought there was gonna be a fire. She's gonna keep a close eye on her. Definitely wants Haley to come straight back home from school, do her homeworks, which she hasn't done today, but hopefully she will for tomorrow. Let's call them to meal. Here it is, call to meal. Have some breakfast. We actually, this turned out, did it turn out excellent? Lola, wow, okay, so we have excellent breakfast, some scrambled eggs with bacon, that's really good. How about we go like eat over here? That would be really nice, you come as well. And Avery, how about you get up and also grab a serving and come eat breakfast with us. It is actually Easter tomorrow in my game, which is exciting. So tomorrow will be Easter and then it's almost love day. This also popped up, I don't know what this is, TV season premiere and ooh, there is a huge premiere for a new show on TV today. Be sure to watch it soon to avoid any spoilers from other Sims. What? Is this like some hidden tradition? I have not seen this before. This is so cool. This is like something I would be into. I love like following TV shows and like, especially if there's something new, I need to see it. How about you guys like chat a little bit, just like about your day? Uh, how about quote a cartoon character? Haley seems okay today. She doesn't seem too angry anymore, even though she's grounded. I'm sure she's not really happy, but at least she's putting on a brave face. You can continue eating, guys. And I think what we're gonna do today is, um, well, we're gonna focus on getting a bit more money. I want Lola to meet some friends as well because we've only met friends for the kids. Lola needs some friends too. Oh, she did something for her scouting badge stuff. That's awesome. So Lola's gonna go on town, meet some new kids. Oh no, that went bad. I didn't know that could go bad. Anyway, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll play it for tomorrow as well when it's Easter. And yeah, we're gonna definitely follow Avery a bit closer today because I think she is, um, she's not doing so well after what happened. I'm pretty sure she was really close with her mom, even though she's still quite young and she doesn't really understand what her parents did wrong. She was really close with her mom and she really misses her. I'm just gonna clean this place up, take care of our our plant over here and then we'll see where we head today. They have grown. We can sell at least the carrots and the mushrooms again, so that's awesome. And they still don't need watering. All right, we're gonna sell our mushrooms and the carrots, I'm assuming. We're not making a lot of money and we're really not getting our gardening skill up. So I really wanna work on that because I do want her eventually to join the gardening career. So maybe we'll go do that. I also think it might be GeekCon today. So I wanna see if um, we can meet any teens over at GeekCon. I'm just trying to see if there are any of your guys' sims in here. I can see a lot of the normal townies that I still haven't deleted. If I 
I was gonna delete them right now, there would be no townies left. There would be so little Sims. This is a Sim made by you guys. This is Chloe North. Um, really adorable. By the way, I did, let's go say hi to her. Like, why not? Let's go do a friendly introduction. I wish we could do like a cautious introduction because she's quite scared of, uh, you know, strangers and she doesn't wanna let everyone know her secret. Can we come over here? We can. Yeah, I did want to let you guys know that I did change the townies' hairs a little bit. So the names that you guys made me, uh, most of them were actually wearing the hairs from Seasons since I asked for an OCC and I didn't want everybody to, to be wearing the same hair. I thought that would be a little bit funny. So I did change uh, some of the Sims' hairs. So if they look different, that is why. This is one of the girls whose hair I did change. She was wearing the same hair as Haley is right now. But hey! As a possible new friend, she looks quite posh. She looks like she could be from a wealthy family. She can't be in this town all by herself. She has her two sisters to take care of. She she needs some support for her too, since her parents are in prison. Let's just make some small talk about the weather and share some ideas. I do think it's just that GeekCon is in town, so I'm gonna head over there as soon as we're done talking to this girl. So it is GeekCon, it is at Planet Hunt. Pop, so of course we're gonna go and um, we're just gonna go by ourselves see if there's any other teens over there and I don't know I don't think Lola would be really into like computer games or programming it's not really her type of a festival I wish it was the flea market that would be perfect because we need some cheap stuff but for now, we'll just go see if we can meet any new friends. Like Lola Hurt, it's the hottest event this week. So we're just gonna stop by GeekCon and then celebrate Easter tomorrow. That's exciting. All right, here we are. And let's see if there are any of your guys' sims around here. So I think this chick might be a sim made by you guys. Yeah, this is a Carla bays that's how i'm gonna pronounce that she's a bay and then there's just a bunch of random generated townies uh i believe yeah there's another one so we have lena ashfield and then i think that might be it what are you doing oh make it a green that sounds like a sim made by you guys but what is she wearing is she a sim? I think she might be a sim by you guys. <laughs> She's like the repairman or something. Oh my gosh. And where are your pants? Marcus, what the heck are you doing? Anyways, Lola is just gonna use the observatory. I don't know what else we would do here. There aren't any teens. I guess they are at school. I'm not really surprised considering it is the middle of the day. There's just a bunch of adults here and we're not even allowed to talk to them. Hopefully we weren't. Were we? I already forgot that that's a rule. There's another sim. I think this is Lena's husband, Frank. There is a bunch of Darth Vader's. I think these might be your guys' sims, but I can't tell because they're wearing, they're wearing <laughs> the Darth Vader outfit. Let's just not, let's just play some Blick Block. At least get her fun up. As you can see, her, her fun is pretty low. So is her social, because like I said, she does not have anybody to talk to. She knows nobody in this town and she's not even going to school, which means she can't meet any school friends. So we're really gonna have to hope that through hobbies or just like hanging around town and cafes, we can meet some other Sims and hopefully find her somebody she can trust because currently she she doesn't trust anybody she really like she has major trust issues after what happened with her parents and them going to prison for fraud when she had no idea so yeah Ooh, the geek on challenges have begun oh this would be a great way to make money maybe we could start to learn singing and then participate in the karaoke contest to make money that way because i don't think we're gonna be good in these geek on contests considering her video gaming level is one and um, programming is zero we're gonna try maybe we can make even a little bit of money i'm not really sure how it works or if only the main person the winner wins a cash prize but we'll try we're pretty desperate and this looks super cool i love reshade you guys were asking for a tutorial on how to download this reshade for your game and i think i might be doing one uh or at least i'll link one over on twitter or something but i might do one myself since i really do love it for my game oh no she failed it the minimum minimum score to pass is 70 and she got 30 
well that's not good at all. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to a garden and start start gardening. I think we'll go to the park that we were last time. All right, we're here. We're just gonna plant the rest of our seeds that we had. I don't know if they'll grow while we're not here, but oh well, at least we're gonna gain some of our gardening skill. Haley has met Lucas while at school. Well, Lucas is Lucas Munch. We don't care about you. Oh, Avery has also met Melody. Haley also met Colleen. We are meeting a lot of friends. That's really good. They're both meeting friends today. I think I'm gonna change it for, let's see. Sleeping class, listen to teacher. I'm gonna make her do that instead today because I didn't want her to have good grades. Avery's a good girl. She wants to do everything she can to help Lola out and she also wants to do well in school because that's just that's just what her own morals are telling her to do. It's just it's the right thing to do to pay attention and learn and hopefully grow up to be a responsible young adult who can help her big sister Lola who she does love a lot. Anyways, we're just planting pretty much everything here. How is our skill going anyway because once we get our skill up we can you know start evolving things and that way that's a great way for us to make some money i should have bought the more expensive like seeds or things that grow into more expensive plants but i didn't do that oh my god we're almost level two we're gonna get that there we go level two lola can research gardening at a computer that sounds good where are you off to cloud gazing well that's kind of cute all right, I was gonna have you water the plants, but you do that for a little bit. <laughs> she can, yeah, she can research gardening and research individual plants to unlock information in the notebook. Oh, and water plants in a nearby area. That is really, really useful. Okay, Avery's home and so is Haley. We should go home soon too, but I am gonna have her water these. Oh, do they not need watering? Because, what, where's watering? Okay, apparently we can't water them. We can only weed them or fertilize them or research them. Um, okay, I'm not sure how they are already watered. I wanted to check if there were any more teens around that we could talk to and then we can head home to check up on the twins. All right, we are back home. We're gonna make sure, okay, they're going to the bathroom. We're gonna make sure that Haley does her homework now. Lola's gonna stand by her and make sure that she does it and finishes it since she is grounded. I don't see an option here in parenting to tell her, like to encourage her to do her homework, unfortunately. Maybe she's just not not high enough parenting skill but we're just gonna have her do it and have Lola watch her. Avery's already doing her homework over here on her own. I feel like she's a bit sad. She's definitely a bit sad. I saw some comments saying that she should be affected by what happened to her parents being without her mom with only her big sister there. Even though she loves Lola, she really still misses her mom. I feel like we might need to get her a little companion and by that I mean a puppy. Maybe, maybe we'll get her a puppy. I don't think we can afford one, so we have to see if we're gonna find one. Are we already helping her? Let's let's help her with her homework. <laughs> I don't know why she's doing it on the floor in the bathroom, but you know, you do you, girl. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can run into a little puppy and have Avery here fall in love with the puppy and adopt it into our family. It's gonna increase our costs for food and stuff, but I feel like like Lola wouldn't be able to say no to that. Also, I did turn the lights to automatic lights. It's a little bit annoying, but I think that reduces your bills and I'm already worried for our bills. We have 150 simoleons, which is pretty much nothing. So that's why it's pretty dark in here. Anyways, we're just here in the bathroom helping Haley with her homework, making sure she finishes it. And she's gonna be grounded at least for a couple of days, but Lola can try to think of something fun to do together while the kids can't go out anywhere else. She has completed her homework. Oh my God, good job. Maybe we should give her a hug. Let's teach her a valuable lesson. Doing your homework is very important. And then let's uh, oh, become best friends. That's really cute, but no, let's uh, give her Let's hug her lovingly. And let's go do the same to Avery as well. Avery also finished her homework. Let's go, where is it? Hug lovingly. They both deserved hugs after that. And yeah, maybe we should head somewhere with the girls. Even though Haley's grounded, I think Lola would give in and say that they could go somewhere together. Once we have a bit more money, we can use the explore mod and go to like Disney World and stuff like that. But 
for now we'll do something a little bit cheaper possibly just go to the beach or something like that all right here is the hug for avery as well she definitely needed it i think she would want to just go into her room a little bit by herself uh, let's just play with um i wish there was a dog toy but we can just play with the blue bear just on her own i think she's like kind of become a little bit of a loner just wanting to be alone so that not everyone can see how upset she truly is and how she feels about not having her mom and obviously she can't even tell the kids at her school where her mom is or what happened since Lola is being very strict about it so they don't get caught by the police so I think it's really gonna take a toll on Avery and she I don't know I feel like she might struggle a little bit with her emotions I've actually just spotted a few more of your guys's sims and I really want to talk to this guy because he's a teen so hopefully we can run over here and do a funny introduction this is another sim by you guys whose hair I actually changed but this is Ellie North hello you are looking fabulous so once she's done eating we can come greet this guy here Daniel Morales and see if um they could become friends here he is we were so excited to meet him we brought our food with us but this is daniel and there is a very creepy guy what the heck are you wearing oh uh, what is this you get out of here oh my god i'm so glad we're not even allowed to talk to adults let's um gossip with him even though that's not really lola but i clicked it <laughs> let's discuss our interest with him i think he looks like a nice kid i feel like he could be possibly someone we could trust he does look like he's from a wealthy family who knows what um his parents do for a living let's also act tough i feel like that is something we would do since we want to seem like we've got it all together and we're not just living alone on our own let's try that again i want to get to know this guy he seems he looks like a nice guy and i feel like this might be somebody for us to trust let's rave about growing up i don't know what these scary noises are that i keep hearing he seems okay he seems okay let's uh, talk about vacations maybe he's been to one maybe lola would make up some stories of things she's done to kind of make it seem like her family's got it all together and like they do things with her parents just to like keep up the story that nothing is wrong but hey he keeps trying to leave i keep not letting him let's also get to know him and then i think that's fine we can let him go now but hey at least we have some friends now, which means we can invite them to places and like tomorrow is Easter. Maybe we'll hang out. Maybe. I think that could be fun. Meanwhile, Avery's over here working on her school project. How cute is that? I think this might be the volcano one. So I'm excited to see if she manages to finish that one. Oh, we learned that Daniel is a bro. Okay. <laughs> That's fine, he's a bro. What skill are we learning mental? Look, she's already doing really well with her skills and uh, okay. Haley's playing in the bath, that is totally fine. Something fun to do, there isn't that many fun things to do around here, but look how good her needs are. I'm actually quite impressed by that. Do we have any dinner or should we? I'm gonna have Lola come back inside from meeting that guy. She kind of just left the twins over here, but they're okay, they're safe in this apartment. Do we have any food in here? Not really, I think we should serve dinner. Oh, before she grabs something from the fridge, we could do, what is the cheapest thing to do? A garden salad. Last time it did not turn out very great, but we can try it again. She's gonna cancel her eating that food. Maybe she can come help her sister assist with project like why not they're still pretty good friends i feel like if they it might they might not stay like that forever but for now they're still getting along nothing too crazy has happened yet but i feel like Haley, Haley might mess this up somehow also her eyebrows should be blind i am aware of that they're just the game is very buggy and broken <laughs> Every time I change them to blonde, they change back. So she's got dark brown eyebrows now. This is actually really cute. They're looking like a functional family. Lola working on dinner while these two are working together to create um, 
<laughs> a volcano that does not look too great. Hopefully it turns out a little bit better than that. That would be good. And it's gonna boost her school performance as well. So yeah, I think it's going quite well for them. I think I will end this today's episode in this day. And then next time uh, we will celebrate Easter. Maybe get to know Daniel a little bit better. And I do want to get a puppy for Avery. So we'll see which one of those things happens in the next episode. But I'm really excited for it. Let's just call them all to dinner. There we go. Lola isn't actually that hungry herself. So I'm just going to save her food. I think she can just sit here and play on her phone or something while these two finish this off. They're almost done with it. So she's not going to eat with that. Maybe we should send a text. Let's send a text to... Daniel, why not? It's a little bit forward. They literally just met, but she needs some friends. We'll do the same for the other girl that we met. Chloe, look, their responsibility just went up and they finished it and she's clapping. Oh, she's so excited. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually adorable. Okay, how did this turn out? Quality good. <gasps> That's awesome. Can we like see what it does? A star chemical reaction. <gasps> Oh, 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 okay. Is it gonna put lava on our floor? Oops. <laughs> Obviously, it's not real lava. That is awesome. Let's put that in her inventory so she can get a boost in her grades. We could sell that for 80 simoleons. I don't think we will. <laughs> We're not that desperate. They're just gonna have some dinner, go to bed. It is quite late. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Lola, come on, you can make it to your bed. She's gonna go to sleep even before the twins. This is not how it should go, but she's quite exhausted. She's dealing with a lot of stress and pressure right now, so I don't blame her. All right, these two are also off to bed, and I'm gonna leave this part here. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new here. I post new Sims videos every single day. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this series because I am really loving it myself, and I cannot wait to film more. Let me just put them to actual sleep instead of napping. There we go. There also seems to be a mysterious odor over here. So yeah, this apartment is gonna start playing up soon, which is not great. We're gonna have some like problems with our uh, like blackouts and leaking pipes. I am not excited, but hey, thank you guys for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for some other video and very soon for the next part of Let's Play the Big Sister Challenge. Bye guys. This time I'm a win it This time I'm a win it